360 some odd individual seats, the most I've ever counted on the home side of the Eagle Grove game is 191, and I've counted a lot. Uh, on the other side is over 200 seats. Uh, now you say, well, how come you didn't get the visitors all seat backs? Well, number one, we like them, but we don't like them a whole lot. <laughs> number two, thing to think about is, you know, we'll have our pep rallies in here. I've got to have a place for my band. I've got guys with tubas and all kinds of things. They've got to have regular standard blinkers back until they get the band in there. Obviously, it's something important. We wanted, we've all been to Hawkins and Winona and those gyms, and, and their seats, they have a little more seats and they go higher up. But our thought process was we wanted a nice gym that represented us, and when folks walk in to play, you can grow, whether it's basketball, volleyball, or whatever. We still wanted our crew right there in the game and had that home court advantage. So we wanted our seats in a nice big gym to still give that you can throw hometown, you're going to play us off player. So that's why it's kind of built like they are here. Uh, some high points about the gym itself. Uh, obviously, welcome to the Lions Den. I don't know if you can tell, but when the guy said, hey, you want me to do a 3D? I'm like, yeah, okay, do a 3D. Well, then I'm like, man, that's really 3D. And it does stick off the wall. It's pretty cool. And of course, we wanted the American flag because the Eagle Grove is a place to make the tickets to the Of course, the Texas flag is we're awfully proud of the state. Uh, in the future, we'll add banners or something along those lines for our kids. They're going to all match and, and we'll process down that road in the future. The technology in this building is kind of what I think puts us over the top, so to speak. So I've already mentioned that anything on the, in the auditorium runs through here, and we can project on the wall. Obviously, you see, we've got a little PowerPoint looping. So we've got graduation, or whatever the case may be, or a band concert, or kids are sitting in here, or whatever. It's audio and video in here from there. So that's a pretty cool effect. Our score table that uh, Philip and Zach and Dieter sitting at, we want to thank Main Bright and, and Russian Machine Shop. Uh, and I also want to thank Texas Bank and Trust, scoreboard stuff. Uh, those folks sponsored us uh, a lot. A lot of the add-ons and awesome things that kind of took over the top were donation money that we went out and searched for. It was not particularly taxpayer dollars. But the score table is state of the Actually, in front of it are two 50-inch TVs in front of the score table. And those, whatever's on that score table that the visitor sees, goes through our projection system on the wall. So the thought process is when we introduce our kids, we flash the picture up, they come running out. Uh, during the game, we can sell an ad or whatever we want up there, and it's in real time. So I can sit there, or Philip can sit there, or whoever can type anything that we want. We've got some clip art. If it's an one, there's a clip art that goes up. We're going to video clips. Uh, welcome, whoever's playing us. Whatever we want to do, it's pretty cool. You can type in, hey, guy in a green shirt, please quit hollering. And, and, you know, whatever. <laughs> So I'm going to ask Mr. Melton to show off the sound system lights, whatever he wants to do, he kind of enjoy that. Would you mind showing those lights there? So we really want to talk about the sound in here. It's different than the sound over there. So the thought process is we've got our kids coming out.